Four days from now, October 4th, OSHA will officially become an activity, as, as announced earlier. It will be aligned under the U.S. Army Air Operation Group. Throughout the last 20 years, OSA has been the national level agency under the director of the Army National Guard that manages non-executive operational support airlift. And I will say that as OSA for the last two decades has been a multi-component, meaning both active and National Guard and in support of U.S. Army Reserve, so those three components of the Army, uh, and has been a multi-component agency for the last two decades. Uh, as we align OSA under the Army Air Operations Group, it'll continue to be an organization comprised of both active duty, National Guard, and U.S. Army Reserve personnel. Uh, so it's important as we talk about the Army, it's one Army. Uh, one Army with three components, Active Guard and Reserve, uh, doing the one Army mission. Uh, for the future of Army fixed wing and with all the airplanes that we have, it's important to know uh, that we do that and it's important to integrate both the Active Guard and Reserve uh, in that mission set because frankly that's how we employ them globally. The highest privilege that any officer in the military can be given uh, is the opportunity to command our military formations and that is leading the men and women of America that volunteer to serve, to serve our nation. Uh, it is a great privilege. Uh, the success of a command uh, is not as much as in the commander as it is in the men and women that we lead. Uh, and OSA has been a tremendous agency to lead as well as OSACOM as a subordinate unit uh, and as they align under the Army Air Operations Group, we'll continue to serve our nation well uh, for total Army fixed wing requirements. Although Colonel Ring would be missed, he is leaving us in good hands as he passed his guidance to Lieutenant Colonel Dave Doran, the current OSA Deputy Commander. As a, as a uh, MERS U.S. Army Operation Group, Colonel Doran would become the commanding officer for the flight activity. I will say that uh, to participate in what is a very historic moment uh, for this organization and also for Army Aviation. Uh, as we pass the mission command uh, from one OSA commander to the next uh, and align OSA roles and responsibilities as well as authorities uh, under the distinguished Army Air Operations Group. I'm eager to work with you. I'm eager, eager to work with Colonel, Colonel Brown and all the AOG teammates. I'm excited to be a part of the incorporation and shaping of what I truly believe will be a shining example of collaboration and innovation for the rest of the Army as we build this team of teams into a highly effective, versatile, and relevant organization of which the Army, the Army Reserve, and the National Guard can all be proud.